Hi, I'm Michelle, founder of Sucky Life. Today we're going to be doing something special in honor of Star Wars Day. Today is May 4th and we're going to be doing this amazing Darth Vader colorful arrangement. So stay tuned. So here's what you'll need. You'll need some pea gravel or small rocks, some charcoal, potting soil, some polished rocks, and moss. This is going to use a variety of very colorful succulents, so it's nice to have some options. And we can't forget our Darth Vader mug. We're going to start with our pea gravel. We're going to fill it about a fourth of the way in our mug, just to give the plant a little bit of aeration. Also keeps the water from being too close to the roots. Make sure it's nice and tucked in there. Next we're going to use our charcoal. I'm using two different sizes here. The larger ones I'm just going to spread evenly across to mainly get um, any large amounts of water purified. I'm going to go with the smaller bit and fill in any areas that the larger pieces missed. Make sure it's nice and even in there. Gently just shake that just to make sure the bottom's evenly coated. Next we're going to take our potting soil. I like to use a blend of half regular potting soil and half cactus succulent blend. I feel like it gives the plant the right amount of nourishment with the right amount of drainage that it needs. Make sure that's nice and even there. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top, but you want to get it maybe about an inch or so from the top. Just make sure it's nice and even. These are some succulents I decided to pick out. I love the color that they have. So first I'm just going to make a small hole in the soil just to make room for the roots. I'm going to go with my largest one first. Just tuck it in see how it fits. Tuck all those roots in. It's okay if it leans a little bit. You're going to be filling in with more succulents. Just put a little extra soil in there. Just going to repeat it a step. Make room for our next succulent. Love the bright red in this. Alright. Let's kind of arrange it, see what works. And kind of move things around, see how you like it. Making a little hole for the finger. You can use a chopstick or a back of a paintbrush, as I'm going to do with this one right here. Just making a little hole in the back. This is going to be our last major second. Right there. A little more soil just to secure it. 
Yeah, and just arrange it however you like. Make sure it's nice and secure in there. Add soil as needed. I'm going to use some filler. Um, these are some tricolor stone crop. I'm just going to tuck those in. Using my fingers to push in the roots. Soil. Don't want any exposed. And we'll just be putting these um, in some of the larger open spaces in the arrangement. If ever there are any gaps. Okay. And all around, just found little spaces for them. Next we're going to be taking our polished rocks, I have two sizes here, I'm going to use the small ones first, just sprinkle those in, Next I'm going to take some moss and then this will help with preventing the plant from being overwatered and it also adds a great decorative element and that great pop of green. I'm just going to gently tuck these in, break them into smaller bits. These also help in propping the succulents in the desired angle that you want them. there you have it. Until next time, may the fourth be with you.